Hello there, I'm Outro Hill, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich, playing, of course, as Yugoslavia, formerly Serbia. Don't know why I did a little nose thing, it was strange. It's the 9th of March, 1942, and in this series, we have done quite well at basically erect... erecting? Erecting a powerful state with which to unite the Baltic peoples. Or Slavic peoples. Or whatever we are. What happened so far is we've managed to basically annihilate everyone around us and move east through Turkey. We are currently annihilating the remnants, remnants of Greece. We have a lot of excellent core pop available. Uh, we are currently only... We're actually still on service by requirement, which is not, not the best. Uh, we are having to import quite a lot of resources, but that's not too bad at the moment. Uh, so far, we don't really have tanks prepared. It's only 1942. We're starting to research tanks now. Uh, we're building military factories like nobody's business. Because I really want to try and get a lot of a lot of supplies. And I also want to change my infantry template a little bit. So currently these guys are infantry mainly. But I want to try and add, for example, recon company. So that's fine. Let's add the recon company. Which means they're very, very strong. And after that, oh, German Empire has capitulated. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure they'd already capitulated, but all right. Whoa. They're just France now. Uh-oh. <laughs> It's it's just it's just France now. That's not good. Uh, well, that's a shame. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. I have just reloaded the save after it patched, so let's just hope it's uh, still working. That's fine. It is good. 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 I wish I could kick them out of my faction. That'd be cool. Just delete my faction. Yeah, but I can't. Okay. So next up, obviously, is going to have to be like Egypt and Hen Persia and Heshima Arabia. We don't have a huge number of fact of troops. But I would like to try and conquer all of this for the glory of the world. Some Melenlis and all that crap. So 185 days to do that. That'll be good. Hey, Nev, what's up, buddy? Welcome back to the stream. Thank you for joining me. You were at a party last week and I didn't laugh until his brother was epileptic in the face. Oh, Jesus. You told a joke and then someone died. Wait, what? What the fuck? Faction management. Mod. That'd be really nice if we could actually use them and just delete them from this. Because I hate having unnecessary people in my faction. And it just isn't great. I'd like to kick you out and use my own people. Or rather, just use me. Expand the Air Force. So now we need to get some rubber. We'll get that from the Commune of France. So expand the Air Force. Because we want to start working towards um, planey plane planes. Most likely, I'm going to want to try and go through fighter focus. Yep. Because at the moment, we have no planes. Oh, hello. Let's just finish taking uh, these butt faces. The fall of Atlanta. Oh, my. Yeah, but unfortunately, I'm already in the middle of the game, so I can't use it now. Britain's declared war onto Ireland, which is an interesting development, to say the least. Come on, Athens. And the French Republic, oh, declared war on a lot of people. So who, who are you against? What? Oh, Portugal and... What? The Entente? Huh. Well, that's going to be interesting. Maybe the Communist France will fall apart. That'd be cool. Who's the Australasian? Oh, then the Entente as well. Never mind, the Adelaide's going to die. Um, Let's just wait for Greece to be annihilated. As soon as we take Athens, although they've invaded Turkey, it doesn't really matter, because as soon as they take Athens, they die. <laughs> so it's not like it really matters. I'm going to make sure we're recruiting a lot more dudes, and I'd really like to start building tanks. Because we are at 1.15 million, but we're going to get a lot of non-core population when we invade more countries as well. This is taking a while. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. We're getting lots and lots of troops, which is great. Du, 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 du. They're in Vedergrad. We're just basically trying to stack up as many armies as we can. Could you guys just maybe kill stuff? That'd be great. Good, yeah. Just take out. There we go. So now they're attacking from multiple directions. They get a huge bonus. There it is. Come on. Come on. Do we actually get to see the multiple attack, multiple damage thing? Nah, whatever. We got, we got Athens, so there we go. Oh, Ireland's capitulated to the Union of Britain, to be expected. And Athens is dead, so that should cause them to capitulate. Oh, not yet. All right, then. What a, what a dick. 
The government idea shipbuilding focus has been removed because its prerequisites are no longer fulfilled. Uh huh. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. I have ports, so I don't know why that's happening, but. There we go. Thanks, Grease. Nice. So that gives us some factories and also a very nice amount of resources. So I don't I no longer need to be trading for uh tungsten. That's the primary reason I did that, is to try and take the tungsten and chromium that I want. And also get all their equipment. So I was considering invading the Kingdom of Poland. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was invading Poland. Oh yeah. Shit, in like eight days. Oh fuck. Okay. Did they just beat someone to death or something? I don't care. Let's kill the Polish. It's always a good plan. Kill the Polish. <laughs> it just it just generally seems like a good idea, you know? This guy's in the front line. But I don't want to be on the Romanian front line, for God's sakes. Come on. And we're going to just take Warsaw. Occupy these guys. Oh, wait. Am I now justifying on them? I am. So I'll occupy them. I'm just going to hurt my factory production a little bit because it's going to drop me down to low stability, but that's okay. And these four here... Uh, I'm also just going to check that. Let's just make a 60 division strength. Uh, they don't exactly have a large amount of power. They're basically boned at this point. Good invade countries for resources. Exactly. Always invade countries for resources that you need. It's super useful. Go big or go home. Declaring common to an access and allies all at once. No thank you. I'd like to win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what else do we want? What else do we want? We... Artillery and support equipment mostly. Yeah, mainly. Well, we're getting a little bit of close air support. And fighter one as well. So we can get some fighters. That's cool. Am I researching better fighters? Am I behind on fighters? I'm a little behind on fighters. So let's not, let's not build fighters. They're shit. Let's just get some more support equipment. There we go. Poland. We're going to expand our realm like crazy. That we can expect to finish on the 27th of May. Ah, oh, it's paused because of a lack of political power. God damn it. Well, now we gotta wait. Ugh, 20 days. It's gonna take 40 days. Annoying. So in this game, the USA didn't capitulate. No, the USA gave up to Douglas MacArthur, and they're still fighting. And you know what? I think they might win. Though Mexico took a lot of stuff. But now they can throw all their forces on the combined syndicate. But, wow, they have a lot of divisions. Jesus. Annie Kenny, the Union of Britain's doing some good stuff. Kingdom of Spain. The uh, authoritarian democratics. The Juan III. My nose is stuffy, sorry. We're doing okay. We recruited a lot of dudes. So there's my fighter focus. Let's get... What else can we get the policies here? So anyone, actually, you are completely done with these. Because we don't want to go end occupation. Because then we were to remove Bulgaria. And then basically we make them a puppet. And I don't want to puppet Bulgaria. Because Bulgaria is shit. Bulgaria is mine. So. No. So we're going to get a Kaz effort. What are the major factions in this in this game? Uh, well, that's not the faction map mode, Ultra Hill. It's F9. So we have the third international, which is uh, basically the UK and all of Western Europe. We have the Axis, which is these guys, which I'll be fighting then. And then we have the Entente, which is northwest of India and Canada and a couple places in South America and Australia, of course, and a bit of Africa. And then we have the Eastern Syndicalist Union that is literally just them and Burma. But whatevs. And they got me. Actually, to be honest, me is the most important. Whoa, France declared war in Spain. Okay. We have the Belgrade pack, which is here. Oh, okay. They went ham. They, they they've got, they've gone ham. Oh God. Jesus Christ. Okay, so they are actually invading Spain. That's not good. 
Well, I guess it's okay. Oh god, they've what? Oh, they've released. They've made Germany socialist. You bastards! You made them totalist. Left by Wilhelm Pick. Let's look him up. Wilhelm Pick. Let's look up this some bitch. He was a German politician and communist. He was the first in 1949. He was the first president of the German Democratic Republic, an office abolished upon his death. Oh, so he actually was real, and he actually basically did what he's saying he did. Sure. Okay, so the justification's still gonna have to wait a while. Hey, Iwanaskara, why is Poland kingdom? Because they went the focus to remain, um, to elect the Wadyslaw Sikorski. And that meant that they're a kingdom. And we're going to invade them and eat their face and conquer all of them. And Romania hopefully will get very, very little. Iron God Romania is justifying. Uh, okay. Whatever. I'm currently doing that, so why, why would you do that? What's wrong with you? Are you some kind of idiot? Is that it? Are you an idiot? Barcelona's already been taken. Jesus. Been intense. Okay. And finally, we are justifying. We're now moving through advanced fire bases. We are finally justifying on Poland. You're from Poland. Curse you. Sorry, my friend. It's about to be invaded. All right, so we're going to be able to invade these guys on the 2nd of July. Look at the strength we've got in these divisions. We have 85 divisions right now. Oh, whoops. I forgot what these guys. Here we got 85 divisions. Ready and waiting to invade. I'm excited. Improve equipment conversion. Let's keep getting the equipment conversion bonuses. You should allow Poland to kill Romania. Surrender now, shame so you can get out of your faction. Ooh, that's a cool idea. But I don't think Poland will do that. They'll just Romania will beat Poland massively anyway, because Romania has been basically allowed to kick ass. It's got fifty goddamn divisions. It will definitely win. Like it will definitely win if if I if they try that, you know. <laughs> Viva 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 represents the day to commemorate Saint Pius Lazar and the servant holy martyrs who gave their lives to defend the true faith during the Battle of Kosovo in 1389. Cool. Can we attack? Can we attack them now? Second of July. Oh fuck! I forgot to move my planes. Oh well. To Poland. Invade! Do it, lads! Show them what for! Oh my goodness, yeah, look at that. Whoops, we did not put the front line properly. It's okay, because we're basically just obliterating them. Oh, wow. That's depressing to watch. They're basically being killed. In for Poland surrounds you and you lose. Ah, uh, they kind of are at the moment, but it shouldn't take too much. We're, we're basically about to capitulate them already. We've already taken Krakow, Lublin, Lwów. Estonian Socialist Republic has capitulated to the... Oh, the fall of Warsaw. The Paris of the East has fallen. Oh, no. The royal castle in Warsaw has been plundered again by Polish soldiers. What? By Polish soldiers? Well, they fled the city according to Yugoslavia. They hotly contest this claim. The Yugoslavian troops ransacked after heavy fighting. I, it's probably it was probably me. Let's not lie. Ah, I still got to conquer, conquer loads of stuff. Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus, we got to conquer tons of shit. Let's go. Ah, look at that. We encircled them. It's all part of my plan. It was all part of my plan to encircle them and annihilate their face. You see, I'm a genius, and you guys doubted me. Never doubt the Aldra. Never. Never. So we've lost 32,000 men. They've lost 112. And we're also probably going to gain about 30,000 of non-core manpower, which will be great. We can use those to fuel more divisions. Ooh, civil war in South Africa. 
Looks like Poland will capitulate very shortly. Do you want to maybe do your job? Yeah. Does it sound like a good idea? I think it sounds like a great idea. What's with Russia's government? Russia is currently a social conservative by Viktor Chernov, and Poland has been destroyed. Thanks. See you later. Oh, that was easy. Make Poland puppet states. Hell no. Poland's mine. The annexation of Poland. Them damn Poles. Strip Poland of its conquests. Huh. Our soldiers are watching. Okay, so I wouldn't lose political power if I did this. Strip Poland of its conquests. First of all, do I have any puppets? No. So. Danzig, Paulson, Krakow, five others. And become owner and controller. So basically, they just go back to their cores. But now nah, I'm going to occupy them. Fuck them. Well, that was easy. Okay. Um, let's divide our troops in half. Put these guys on the borders. Let's do it. On the fall of Madrid. Oh, look at that. Yep, France is exp <laughs> Me and France are looking big right now. Okay, when's my tanks ready? Uh, no, we can actually... We should really be building tanks now. Okay. Well, let's build those tanks. Let's do it. Bam. Ah, downfall and stability. Come on, don't be a dick. Cool. And now we just need to import a lot of... Uh, just, just like a lot of tungsten. I'm going to wait for my political power to kind of get back up again. Actually, when is justification done? 14th of November. So I would actually like to wait maybe a little while longer. Actually, no, this is fine. We can wait till this point. Yep, we're fine. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do it properly now. So there's our oh, bollocks. I did that front line really badly. Oh my god, what am I doing in my life? There we go. No, come on, come on. Yeah, eh, 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 eh. Cool. Everything go downhill, USA will invade. Well, let's hope so. I could probably take them, to be honest. Cool, let's bring all of our forces over. We also need to care about these guys. As soon as the war starts, we're going to need to kind of tighten up our defenses a bit. Because there's going to be, like, these this country will join immediately. So the moment we fight, these guys will join, and then these guys will join. So we're not actually going to attack. Who owns the Suez Canal? That is actually currently the Socialist Republic of Italy for some reason. Don't even, don't even think of asking me why, because nobody knows. The fall of Lisbon. Oh my god, wait, what? Who's fighting Lisbon? Oh, they're just conquering everybody. France appears to be very, very strong. Urgh, that's not good for me, basically. Have I researched mechanized? No, I haven't. Okay, we're going to want to start recruiting our armored divisions, so... Let's start making the armored division, shall we? Medium tanks, medium tanks, medium tanks. Mobile group, motorized infantry. A medium tanks, a motorized, a medium tanks, and a medium tanks. And we'll add support artillery. The fall of Algiers. Capital of French government exiles since 1919. The falling under the Moroccan troops. Progressing slowly. Oh, wow. Fierce fights taking place in Moroccan and French soldiers, especially in the popular districts. The sun arising on the Bayonville, a new protector, and blah, blah, blah. Everybody's dead. Rip Aldrahill. No, communism will not invade the world. Everything will be fine. Everything's going to be fine. So let's just wait until we're able to invade, to bring these troops together. We've got political power again, so there's no big deal there. Paratrooper efforts? Meh. Let's go construction engineering. No, it doesn't improve military base, actually. Let's go army training. Yes. Latvian Socialist Republic has capitulated. Oh no! 
My baby. My best friend. My closest compadre. How's Rick and Morty season three? I enjoyed it a lot. It's really good. It was a it was a very enjoyable season. Alrighty. I mean, we still have to wait for the invasion to actually begin, but that's okay. Where's our puppet? Oh, Tripitania. We don't care about that. So still two more months. So plenty of time to kind of build more forces, get our shit together, and then build some tanks. I think this is kind of going to be the last division or group we build, which will it's going to be a bit shy of a hundred divisions. That's the problem. I'm not sure if I like being shy of a hundred divisions. Alright, two more. Alright, one more as well. So it'll be a bit more. Yeah, the blick blue blob is uh pretty strong right now. These guys are occupied oh god, they occupy puppets and everything. France is really big. Netherlands is just kinda of sitting there, as is Belgium, just doing its thing. Oh no, Belgium's actually a puppet. Okay. Belgium's actually a puppet of France. Well then. That happens that happened. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Do be sure to check out all the other series I have on my channel. Do also leave a like and a comment in the video. Let me, let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Aldrin, and I'll continue to be in the spin some Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich playing, of course, as Yugoslavia. Bye-bye.